I think one of the sources of inspiration was the first time that we came to the church. Immediately we felt that this is a music box, no? Like the resonance of the place really invited us to, to think on music. TBA 21 and Audemars Piguet Contemporary share a common mission of commissioning new artworks and research into international artists. It has been wonderful to collaborate on this co-commission, which forms an integral part of the wider exhibition here at Ocean Space, Thus Waves Come in Pairs. It just felt natural to work together to realize a co-commission given the program's parallel missions. artists Petri Talilay and Alvaro Urbano are creating an evolving ecosystem comprising over 30 large-scale sculptures of hybrid aquatic, terrestrial and aerial creatures set beneath an egg-shaped moon that appears to have the same materiality as the walls of the former church. Like previous works, these productions reflect on the dichotomy between built environments and nature the possibilities of negotiation between these two realities and the inhabitants that occupy these liminal spaces. This is our first um, institutional collaboration on this scale. Even though we come from very different uh, backgrounds and our practices are very different, we have a lot of things in common, no? like the carnavalesque, like the performance, theatricality. It reflects a bit what we see each other in our relationship also, coming from such a different context and cultures and, and making a nest for us in Berlin it is a lot about this small, intimate world that meets a larger context of histories and also challenges. When activated by musicians, the sculptures produce sounds inspired by underwater noises as well as chanting creatures all coming together and forming a melody which was inspired by a lullaby which is called Ay mi pescadito. Ay mi pescadito deja de llorar, ay mi pescadito no llores ya más. It's a song that uh, my grandmother used to sing to me as a little baby, just to stop crying and uh, referring to me as a fish. The fish grows up and learns how to fly and throughout the installation, one can observe this notion of transformation. From the beginning, we were really thinking how the sculptures become the space and how the space become the sculpture as well, no? How actually all how of these reflected. How they host each other, no? How, yeah, this idea of, yeah, who hosts who. And we were imagining Almost that these creatures left the lagoon here and left the waters and seas and come here under the moon. This space tries to open to everyone and not only humans, which is really important to us. Altogether, the musicians produce a predetermined melody that requires a perfect coordination within the musicians. The difficulty to achieve this perfection speaks to the complexity of creating cohesion between different species or between living organisms and objects within the material world. It's really an open stage to host imagination it's kind of a second chance to re-understand things and kind of unlearn again and understand the different togetherness, no? Like, which sometimes is very easy, it's impressively easy, sometimes it's very difficult. <laughs> for us, it's this uh, new beginning, no? Like this uh, a celebration for new worlds to come. <laughs> 